everyone. So today we are going to be going over how to make Galaxy Sharpie marker shoes. And these are really cool because once you're done, you have something really neat that you can wear as soon as they're finished. And it's just something that you can make yourself and completely individually you. There's no really rhyme or reason on how to do this, but we will go over the techniques and tricks of how to go about it. But first off, we're gonna talk about balance in art. Now what is balance? That is the visual weight of an art piece, right? So an art piece can be symmetrical, can be asymmetrical, or it can be radial, but we're not gonna worry about that one today. So when you're thinking of symmetry, think of kind of like a teeter-totter. If you have two people on a teeter-totter about the same weight and the same height, that's going to be almost perfectly even, unless you're bouncing back and forth, but yeah. The asymmetrical side is actually going to be if, as if you were alone on that teeter-totter. You can't actually even that out. You would always be towards the bottom, so your heavier side is where you are. And with that, so I have a couple of examples to kind of give you an idea of what it looks like in art. We have Vincent Van Gogh's Starry Night. And as you can see, he has a really big area here which kind of makes this art piece kind of way to the side here. And with everything being so open on this, it's a lot lighter over on that side, right? There is that. The next piece I'm going to go over is Oriental Poppies by Georgia O'Keeffe. Now this, even though it's not perfectly the same, if I was to pull this over, it would not be exactly on top of each other, but that's okay because since they're very much similar on both sides, it's still a symmetrical piece. So when you're doing symmetry, you don't actually have to have every dot, line, mark, exactly the same on both sides, as long as they're about even. I'm gonna throw some up real quick, and I want you to guess before I say what they are, what you think they are at home. So, what do you think this is? Is it asymmetrical or is it symmetrical? Asymmetrical, good. Now, why is that? Well, when you fold this over, it doesn't match up entirely, right? because a yin yang has its white and then it's black and these two dots here kind of throw it off as well with that little S going through it. That makes it an asymmetrical design. Now, I hope you know what this is. It's just a, mutter, a monarch butterfly, but what do you think it is? Symmetrical, good. And that's because a butterfly, its wings are exactly the same on both sides some art, we have Leonardo da Vinci's The Last Supper. What do you think it is? Symmetrical, good. And again, if we fold that, they are about the same on both sides, right? Okay, in this piece we have Mary Cassette's Boating Party. What do you think it is? Asymmetrical, right. And that's because we have a lot more heavy weight over here than what we do over here. So two more examples. Next one is Self Portrait with Thorn Necklace and Hummingbird by Frida Kahlo. Now, what do you think this is? Symmetrical. And reason being is because she is dead center on this image. Your face is actually very symmetrical. One side is very similar to the other side. And the last one, we have The Great Wave of Kanagawa by Huka, Hokusai. And what is this? Asymmetrical, really good. And that's because that big old wave is just coming up on this side right here. And all this is kind of empty. So with that, now you've kind of got a basic understanding of what symmetrical and asymmetrical are, we're going to move on to actually making our shoes. First, make sure before you start, you're in a well ventilated area. Alcohol markers and using rubbing alcohol can actually let off fumes and you might get a little lightheaded, so we don't want that. So make sure either you're outside or you're in a garage or an area that you know the air circulation is going through. 
And your materials, what you'll need is some canvas white shoes. These are very cheap. Don't have to get anything overly expensive. You need some rubbing alcohol. This is not for drinking. Do not consume this in any way. If you get in your eyes, go wash out your eyes real quick. We don't want it on your hands because it might dry out your hands. So be very careful. This is 70% and this is going to make it to where the Sharpie marker is bleeding into each other, almost like a watercolor. Of course, you need some alcohol markers. We have a lot of Sharpies. There's a lot of different brands that you can get. You don't have to get Sharpies. This is a marks a lot marker. I got some big ones here. You can use smaller ones if you want, but just know it will take a little bit longer to use it with the smaller ones. And last, a couple things. You need some masking tape to mark off the soles of the shoes. You can see here that I already have done that. And when you're doing that, try to use smaller pieces of tape all the way around. Because if you use a big piece of tape, it's going to leave gaps. Like you can already see this is kind of coming off a little bit, but we're just going to push that back on. And you're also going to need a spray bottle or I have an eyedropper. That works just as well. The spray bottle works as well too. So when you're going about making your shoes, the first thing you want to do is make sure you have something underneath, like a paper towel or piece of plastic because we don't want to stain any kind of tables or anything like that. And you're going to tape your shoe. And after you get done taping it, these shoelaces here, they got to go. So we're going to go ahead and take them out and set them off to the side because otherwise these shoelaces are going to get stained. And we don't want that, so it might be a little difficult to get them out there. Little eyelets won't come through. Okay, so we got that. We're going to put it off to the side. Now I have these little papers that the shoes come with. I like to keep that in there because that way when I'm drawing on my shoe, I have a bit of a pressure point where I'm not just pushing all the way through the shoe like that. So it kind of helps. So before you get to your shoe, you might want to look up some galaxy pictures, figure out what colors you want to use, and also decide whether you want symmetrical or asymmetrical for your shoes. If you use a symmetrical design, what you want to do is color both of these probably at the same time with what you do on one side, you do on the other side. That way, they're completely balanced. I'm sorry, this side with this side. If you did the other way, it would have been asymmetrical. <laughs> but if you want it more asymmetrical, try to put a lot of weight, maybe a bit of like a big old black spot on there or something like that to kind of give it more weight on one side. Think of these shoes as both sides of your canvas or your picture. So, and going on with that, so I'm going to try to go for a more asymmetrical design. So I'd want to keep away with what I already have done. Because if I do, then it'll be uneven, right? So we're going to start with, let's see, we'll start with a lot of yellow. Now when you're doing this, you want to hold your shoe and just start coloring on an area that you pick. Get it really saturated because the more ink you use, the better it's going to bleed. Now I'm going to go all the way over here. So that way I know my shoes are going to be two different designs here. Okay. Then I'm going to we'll go with the neon green here. This is a big marker. <laughs> now, big markers will help you go a lot faster with this. Like I said, you can use smaller markers, but when I used in my original shoes, I had smaller markers, and they kind of just took a couple of hours. So depending on how much time you have, you might want to get the bigger ones, but this is always something that you can stop and come back to. You don't have to finish these in one sitting. Now, if you want to blend it together, you can add more yellow into that. And that's to kind of get it to go together a bit more. 
The technique I'm using with the marker right now is called feathering, if you're curious. And that's just you marking, you lift off. Okay, so now I have something on my shoe here. I'm going to show you how to use the alcohol. So if you have your spray bottle, go ahead and fill that up with the alcohol. I have an eyedropper. I'm gonna fill that up here. So I have the alcohol on my eyedropper. And I'm just gonna start putting it on there. And you can see the yellow and this green is starting to blend together. And if you don't quite like what's going on, you can go back to it once this side dries and start adding more color. So once that's done, you kind of want to go to a different part of the shoe and add something else. That way, that can start drying and you can just keep on keeping on. And once you have the entire shoe covered, you'll have something a little like this. So this is my first design I had when I did this and basically, like I said, it took a while. The colors did bleed through, that's okay. And my tape didn't quite stay on there, but since it's a rubber sole, it's gonna eventually wear off. And if you want, you can stop here. It's your shoe. But I wanted to take it a little further and I added my stars to mine to make it more of a galaxy design. This is just white acrylic paint. You don't need anything overly expensive. You can get white acrylic paint maybe for like a dollar or two at Walmart. Or you can get a paint marker. A paint marker is not that hard to use. All you do is you just shake it up real good and then you open it and once you open it you're going to press it down to get that ink to come out. Now since these are canvas shoes it's really easy to draw on them. So all you're going to do is since these are going to be more symmetrical design I'm going to try to match up where the stars are here if I flipped it. And you just draw on there. You can put as many stars on there as you want, as little as you want. These are your shoes. The thing about galaxies is that there can be as many as billions of stars out there in one galaxy. So don't have to be overly cautious. And like I said, there's really no rhyme or reason why I'm putting these other than I'm trying to match up these little guys. And if you have the paint marker, if you're starting to feel like it's running low, just shake it again. Press it down on a different sheet of paper. Once you're done, you have these awesome looking shoes. Have fun, guys.